In our main story this week, social tech giant Meta has announced Andromeda, which is a proprietary machine learning system for ad retrieval that improves advertiser outcomes. Meta said the system is pushing the boundaries of cutting edge AI for ad retrieval with Nvidia chips and Meta's own hardware. Now, according to Meta, Andromeda improves performance of Meta ad systems by delivering more personalized ads to viewers and maximizing return on ad spend for advertisers. But how is the question we're all dying to know. And this time around, Meta is actually showing us what's under the hood. Now, the first thing to know here is that Andromeda works within the ads recommendation system. For those who aren't familiar, before users see an ad on Facebook or Instagram, Meta's ads recommendation system has to funnel a selection of ads from tens of millions into a smaller batch of just a few thousand ad candidates. The company shared this visual on their engineering blog, which depicts the process from left to right, and they showcase the key chips enabling Andromeda to supercharge this personalization process. The ads recommendation system isn't new to Meta. The social tech giant has long benefited from this piece of tech. But prior to Andromeda, Meta says they were only able to apply limited personalization as their process did not allow for full end-to-end -end optimization. Now, in layman's terms, there were way too many ads and way too many people to efficiently resource their ads recommendation engine, and this is something that Andromeda solves. Now, taking it one technical layer deeper, and for my mad tech nerds watching, you guys are gonna appreciate this, Andromeda uses NVIDIA Grace Hopper super chips in combination with Meta Training and Inference Accelerators, and according to Meta, their proprietary tech establishes scaling laws that allows it to better play matchmaker between user and advertiser, and that scale improvement is thanks to a 10,000x increase in their model capacity, which apparently is a massive feat for their deep neural network. Meta shares that their deployment of Andromeda is already seeing improvements in advertising outcomes with Facebook and Instagram seeing an 8% improvement in ads quality and advertisers who previously did not leverage Advantage Plus creative capabilities, which is powered by their AI tech, have experienced a 22% increase in ROAS. Now, what I find interesting is this new newfound level of transparency at Meta, who has historically been very secretive about their ads tech. Typically, they don't say too much or go down to this level. So I turn it to you. What do you think is the goal here? Do you think this is Meta trying to better own its narrative to advertisers? And if so, do you see it working? Or is this type of transparency meant to bolster its AI first narrative to keep Wall Street bullish on its future growth? Leave us your thoughts below. TikTok shop sales reaches $100 million in Black Friday sales, a 3x growth year over year, and users viewed over 30,000 live streams, according to Business Insider. Be Real launches ads in the UK and EMEA with brands like Nike, Netflix, and Pepsi among their first advertisers. Creative Analytics platform Motion announces Creative Highlights, a new feature that automates prep work for a creative strategy meeting, among other benefits. Wicked Movie finds success with Snapchat's new sponsored Snap format that reaches Snapchatters in their inbox with a video message. Meta joins other tech giants in the nuclear-powered race to support growing energy needs for data centers and communities around them. A US federal court denies TikTok's appeal to the law forcing a potential ban of the app if TikTok does not divest from the Chinese-owned parent company ByteDance by January 19. That covers this week's edition of The Media Plan. We'll see you next week.